Do I think that cryptocurrency is going to go mainstream? I do eventually, but it's not mainstream now. We are having a particular generation in terms of an age group or an age bracket adopt that technology, be early adopters of technology. So people that are regular users of smartphone and smartphones and have time to use smartphones are more likely to be involved in the cryptocurrency marketplace in terms of trading. So if you look at um, age groups, so four or five years ago, we had a step up in the cryptocurrency marketplace and a rally. We've just had another rally. Uh, and so there's a generation of people that got into it. Uh, the apps and the, the technology is getting better and better every day as the projects move forward, the different crypto, cryptocurrency projects. For example, I've seen a significant improvement in the Binance app and the, and the CoinSpot app and the Coinly app and the different apps to track tax and, and money. So over time, they're gonna get better and better and more easily accessible and more easily adopted. So the early adopters put up with some um, compromise in the process and it's getting easier as we move through. So are we on the, the top of the adoption curve? I don't think so. There was a recent study of Australians, 1,027 Australians were surveyed and one in five of those Australians had used or been involved in cryptocurrency, either trading or owning cryptocurrency. Do I think it's gonna be mainstream? Not yet, because they're not swapping cryptocurrency with each other yet, they're using it to make money. And at the moment, for those cryptocurrency users to make money, the price needs to go up. And so, do I think it's a way of people uh, people considering in the future that they'll use it to make money? I think yes, absolutely. But as a technology, in terms of the projects, in terms of smart contracts, uh, a 20 year old doesn't have a use for a smart contract yet. Uh, a 30 year old doesn't have a use for a smart contract yet. Um, if a 20 year old or 25 year old or 30 year old wants to own a specific piece of art, then maybe they could consider an NFT. Uh, a recent digital image of Dogecoin sold for $5 million uh, and, and that was an NFT, a non-fungible token. And so as a piece of electronic art, um, people with that kind of cash, they're seeing that that's gonna go up. You've gotta have that surplus cash to make that investment. Are we talking about it? Absolutely, yes. Is it mainstream in conversation? Absolutely, yes. But it's not mainstream yet in normal day-to-day -day transactions. When you go and get Ethereum and then take Ethereum and use that as your method to transfer value to buy a car or buy milk or buy bread or buy coffee uh, or, or buy tickets at, the, at a movie cinema, then I think, yes, that's when it's gonna be mainstream. But we're not there yet and we're definitely not there yet with smart contracts.